Hello class and sir, my name is Maya Russell and today I'll be presenting on globalization and contemporary art. So this table of contents will basically is going to go through what I'm going to be covering in this presentation. I'm going to start by defining what globalization is, then I'm going to do a summary of the article that I chose. I'm going to move into uh, connecting contemporary art and globalization and finally I will display my discussion questions. So now I want to answer the question, what is globalization? So there's lots of different definitions of globalization that exist. Basically, it's when businesses, organizations, or industries operate on an international scale. It refers to an increased flow of trade, people, investment, technology, culture, and a sharing of culture and ideas across the world. There are three main aspects of globalization. There's an economic aspect, a cultural aspect, as well as a social aspect. The economical aspect is a lot great, is the biggest part, and the social and cultural aspects kind of complement the economic aspect, which is controlled by goods and services. Countries like the United States of America are extremely dominant in the market and benefit greatly from globalization. So now I'm going to be moving into the article that I selected. It's called, Our Contemporary Art Gallery's Victims of Globalization, and it was written by Lorenzo Beatrix. So now I'm going to move into the summary of this article. So this article basically gave the history of art galleries and how they came to be, and talked about how they had to adapt and change, uh, basically, uh, because of globalization. So art galleries have been around since the birth of contemporary art, which was right after World War II. Established in the 1960s, it allowed for artists to display their work in a fun, interactive way. Traditionally, art galleries have, price have little price transparency, which basically means that you can see the art, but the price isn't displayed. You usually have to inquire with the gallery owner um, or some kind of seller to how much the art is. And this kind of adds to a level of prestige that's added to buying art from a gallery. In 2017, 72% of art dealers said that their main concern was acquiring new clients. By 2019, 87% of respondents said that they were open to buying art online if they were able to see the prices. Galleries really have been forced to adapt changes in society that have come from globalization. So online sales have increased for galleries since 2018 by 11%. More than half of the sales that have happened in 2018 were from new buyers, which basically means that the seller's idea or want to have more buyers because of globalization, because of the use of the internet, has increased, so it has worked. Globalization may not be great for galleries because it's changed the way the galleries function and kind of the idealization of what a gallery is and what it represents, but it is very good for artists. It gives them far more freedom in terms of what kind of art they can create and management ability. Mega galleries are, is another topic that's discussed in the article. Mega galleries are smaller galleries from around the world that come together for these big sh art shows. And it's a really good example of how globalization has affected the way that galleries can display art for other people. So now I'm going to connect the globalization to the contemporary art. So I want to answer this question, how does globalization affect contemporary art? So globalization has helped bring more buyers and sellers together from around the world. The creation of online platforms such as Artnet or Artsy has improved uh, in both displaying the price, which is what people want, and by making auction results public. Globalization just helps facilitate communication and the dissemination of information. Mega galleries have been extremely successful due to globalization by bringing together smaller galleries and having these big shows in major cities like Paris or other places similar to that, they're able to bring works together from around the world for art lovers to go and see. Now that I've, dis I've discussed globalization, I've discussed the article, 
I would like to move into a discussion based on the information that I've shared so far. A note before I move into what the questions that I have, I decided to write out my answers to my um, discussion questions. I would encourage you to look at the Moodle form and answer back the questions that I have, reply to my answer, and just keep the discussion going. So I have two discussion questions for you. My first question is, in your opinion, what are some general positive and negative effects of globalization? My second question is, do you think that the effects that globalization has had on contemporary art galleries are good or bad? or both, and why. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch my presentation and encourage you to go onto the online discussion and contribute your ideas.